So after assembling my Elite Journeyman and start playing with the Maso G3, I really like the concept of having a touch screen. And on that Altmill, I've been using a laptop to connect remotely to a Pi, Raspberry Pi 5. What if I can do the same on the Altmill? So what I did is, since I have already a, a Raspberry Pi 5 that I added on my control box it's there. It's gonna it's kind of junky right now, a bunch of wiring. I bought this 15 point six touch screen actually this is my second one i bought a 21 inch it's too big and the quality of the screen is not that good so if you're gonna buy this one similar make sure it's a ips set up just an led so it has a better angle so what i also did is i also installed the edge version has been wanted to try this but Every time I tried it, uh, the ATC somehow it's not working. So I did a fork version of this and just hard coded fix the pass through because in here somehow this value and pass through is when I'm debugging it, this pass through doesn't work. It doesn't matter what's the value, it's always false. So if it's false, it, it's not gonna work. So I fix on the code, compile it. Also at the same time, uh, CNC right now for the Edge G Sender doesn't have uh, binaries for uh, Raspberry Pi. And the Pi Pi is actually very snappy. Uh, if you look, uh, I think the advantage of the new Edge is it's instant. It doesn't have a delay. It's almost like the Maso. When you touch this, it's instant. It actually feel better than the Maso because the Maso, every time I touch the X, there's like a waiting time before you can touch the Y. And they don't even have this XY uh, combination. I also did try a kiosk mode. I really like the kiosk mode because when you set up the kiosk mode, it will become like a Maso that it cannot even launch any application from the uh, Raspberry Pi. So you can only use the G Sender. Actually, let's, let me show you. I usually just do SSH, that's how I, and then I'll just modify my start. Let's add some, I'm gonna add the startup, it says kiosk. The only reason I disabled the kiosk is the problem is I cannot open the keyboard. Anyway, I'll show it to you that when you click the keyboard here, there's a key, small keyboard showing here, similar to Maso. There's a virtual keyboard, on-screen keyboard. Let's do a reboot. So it's rebooting now. Because there's no keyboard, so to make it faster, I'm just doing SSH on this Pi 5 and then doing a reboot. So I'm doing a kiosk mode. Look, we'll see what happened on the kiosk mode. It's also boot fast. It's not as fast as Maso, but it's maybe five seconds, 10 seconds, less than a Maso. So it's boot up and then it will start the G Center. Now I see it's full screen. Cannot even use any other app from the Raspberry Pi desktop. So now we can do click, connect. I'm always using ethernet. Uh, and then let's jog, works. Let's click home. There you go. Uh, and then you can do go to macros. Uh, let's say if I wanna, wait, I can scroll. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I just need to like a like a touch. Uh, what do you call this? Like a tablet. 
show current tool and then let's go to uh, console current tools t tool three yeah this is a problem i cannot type because there's no keyboard so uh, i uh, that's why i turn off the kiosk mode so i can have a virtual keyboard or on-screen keyboard showing but you don't need a keyboard or you can have a touch keyboard physically which i prefer not to have to uh you can uh we're just gonna rely it i'll i'll reboot later on and just show you the crew. so let's um let's try loading a file so here you can have a you can have, connect to your network drive i also drop files in here let's say this falcon quick test open okay the only thing is the default zoom on it works on if it's horizontal but it's the default zoom on the vertical orientation like on the mazo it's kind of like a bit uh zoom in so you just need to zoom out even any in any other it's not a big thing you can just click it uh, and then we can click let's check let's go to xy let's remove my laptop my my damage this so in here and then we can start run you'll see that it will atc is working now there you go Like that's a. I wish they have the similar output on the Maso where you actually see the G code program and it just like moving uh, line by line where the G active G code is uh, running or executing. And then maybe we can adjust the speed, increase it. Then maybe increase the spindle speed. Now I can hear that. I went, huh? A little bit shaky, but that's fine. And also there's a status. Okay, now it's changing a second bit. Let's reset the speed rate back to 100. And tool three. And this again, this is kiosk mode. You cannot access any apps on the Pi Vibe. So while cutting, let's look on some other settings. Also, I did all the, I also did all the dark team, dark team on the desktop OS and also dark team on, they just released this uh, dark team for the G Center. Looks really nice. There's spindle status there. I think I'm gonna, start using this versus the old version maybe start reporting all the bugs that i can find they're still working on actively working on this uh to, so that, that, like i said to change doesn't work i have my own fork version to to make it work i should know why this one is let's go ignore and then save so here we can go alarm. It's just delete it. I don't care about that alarm. Uh, let's, there's statistics. Uh, we do need the maintenance. Okay, it says nine hours soon. Cleaning and wheels. Eccentric knot. Oh, we don't have eccentric knot. That's just for B wheel. Nine hours for tension. Uh, dull rain. We don't also do, don't have that. View all. Okay, it's done what else is working so let me let me go back and remove the kiosk mode because i cannot type there anymore but i can still ssh on the pi vibe then i'll remove i have a startup i have the kiosk then control x save enter then sudo reboot. Then it reboot. Let's wait for it. It's rebooting again. I think I might need to look for some anti-reflective uh, screen protector. 
So, because right now I can see myself, the glares. Okay, it's not, look at the boot time, it's like 20 seconds, not that bad. And not bad, but because the Pi 5 around, I think you can buy it around 60. I got it from Micro Center, I think got it for $69. And the screen, I think is $130. Uh, don't be cheap on the screen because cheaper screen has a low quality screen. Okay, let's connect to... There you go. So bro. I can start jogging. See how instant it is? It's really nice. I really like this. On the old version it doesn't there's a huge delay when you do um continuous jog. The only thing I wish is this continuous jog needs to be like the speed can and adjustable like I think it's too fast although you can still like just keep tapping it and then you go to rapid or precise but see how snappy it is uh, let's click home again okay now I need to show you like for example I want to type manual tool change so I just click the keyboard there uh, the keyboard icon and then there will be a keyboard here so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to console let's say I um, wanna change the tool to number uh, maybe number two so let's type M number six T two and then let's start press enter There you go. Uh, I also set up my park to the back of the, the back uh, spindle center on the X and then on the back, let's click apart. Let's go to different work offset or workspace. And then let's, for example, let's, this is my work offset for G55. Just uh, let's say zero, or let's shall, let me just set up the Z first. Oh, let's do rapid and then let's zero everything. There you go. Also, I really like on Maso, I don't have this where you can show both offset coordinates and machine coordinates. Oh, sorry, uh, out of focus. I'm not sure if you get a focus. Ah, man. Um, which is one is a little bit bigger, but my finger still works. Oh, we have the um, rotary, which I don't have a rotary right now. Uh, you can also uh, home man. You can do home individually. For example, I want just want to home the Z right here. So that there's a toggle. If you click this, this is a home mode. If you click this, this will be uh, zero, uh, zeroing out your coordinates. And this is the go to, I'm gonna say go to zero X. For example, I go to different G54 and click X. There you go. And then click G55 and then X. It works. Then Status light, status light, probe. Okay, I need to probably change this to, because I'm, I'm using this. Let's go 3D touch probe. So usually I have a zero, zero on that, and zero on thickness. Apply. Actually, let's try, let's try doing a, 
I don't wanna I don't wanna break this. It's hard to demo while taking a video and speaking. This is where I usually bend this <laughs> needle, but let me try if I can do it. So it's X for standard block, Z0, XY0 probe distance, that's fine. Let's change that. Retract speed, probe connection test. Okay, let's let's go to car, let's go to probing. Uh, let's do X and Y and then Ah, I need a diameter 2.05. That, okay. That's my needle size. And then to, I'm gonna load this manually. So I'm gonna type M6 T. 10. Any number outside your pocket should work. Okay, and then we can just simply hand tighten this. See if I can do it with one hand. Ah, this is hard. Holding one camera and <laughs> screwing this thing on one. You know what? Let me. No, I don't think I can do that with one hand. Okay, now it's done. Let's click. Oh, now there's a. Oh, there's no resume button. I wonder if I can, I can play. No, it doesn't work. So I need to resort on the resume button here. Okay. Now let's let's go to normal. Look at how fast it is. Okay, and then let's start. Go back to probe. Probe. So in here it says we need to test conduct connect. And conductivity since this is a touch row all we need to do is bend this till red and then it's good to go let's see see there you go there and now we're done it's gonna load oh we're gonna load okay it's a problem usually if I have a keyboard I usually just click arrow up and I don't have a virtual arrow up wonder if there's a virtual arrow up keyboard settings no there's this so I'll just type uh, or I can just go to the macro, just say, I already have unload tools, click, unload. Okay, now I'm gonna unload it by, since I only did a hunt tight on this. I'm gonna put it back to this cradle. And again, click the zoom button. And I don't have a tools. So maybe I'll just create a bunch of macros here so I don't need to type it. Why I keep doing the scroll? There you go, guys. Yeah, demo for uh, PyPy with touchscreen. And actually, let me install the updates.